everyone welcome you back in my geography class i hope all of you are doing well so what new we are going to discuss today today we are going to discuss about the uses of minerals why do we need to conserve the minerals and how can we conserve the minerals from the chapter mineral and power resources of class 8 in the earlier videos we have already discussed about the types of minerals the processes by which we can extract the minerals and the distribution of minerals in the world. So now let us know about the uses of minerals. Now minerals are used in multiple ways. We can say minerals have multiple uses. They are very important part of our life and they are important for the development of a country and the development of a society. So let us see what are the different uses of minerals. Minerals are used in many industries. Many industries are dependent on minerals because they obtain their raw materials from the minerals like iron and steel industry. Not only that the industries obtain their raw materials from the minerals but the electrical equipment, the machineries that are used in the industry to run the industries are also formed of the minerals. Now the minerals which are used for gems that means the precious stones, the gold, diamond all are usually hard and further they are used in jewellery like we wear gold jewellery, diamond jewellery so all those are made up of minerals. The next mineral which is another important mineral which is used in everything from coins to pipes like we have the copper coins in the electrical equipment everywhere. We use copper. So copper is another metal which is used in everything and it is another important mineral that is used from coins to pipes. The next mineral that is very useful is silicon. Silicon is used in the computer industry like the silicon chips which is obtained from quartz. So silicon is very important which is used in the computer industry and it is another important mineral. The next important mineral that is used is aluminium. Aluminium is obtained from its ore bauxite and it is used in automobiles, aeroplanes, bottling industries that means the bottle industries, in kitchen cookware, in buildings, in everything we use aluminium. The vessels that our mothers used to cook, it is made up of aluminium. So aluminium also plays a very important role in our daily life. Like in kitchen cookware, in buildings, in automobiles, aeroplanes, everywhere we use aluminium. In fact, other minerals like salt, which add flavors to our food, graphite, all are very important minerals which we use in our day-to-day -day needs. Like salt, we use in our day-to-day -day life. Without salt, obviously food cannot become tasty. Graphite, which is used in pencil, it is another important mineral. We also consume calcium, iron, which is very important for the growth of our body these are also minerals so minerals are important which have multiple uses which are not only used in industries or in making jewelry or in kitchen cookware but in our everyday life also the minerals are very important now as we can see that minerals has multiple uses from where do we get the minerals we get the minerals from the earth crust we all know that minerals are unevenly distributed and the minerals are not available in abundance amount. That means they are limited. But our needs, the rate at which the population is increasing, the demand for utilization of the minerals, are they limited? They are not limited. Constantly they are increasing. So as they are increasing but the minerals are available in a limited amount, it is very much important for us to think about the conservation of minerals. So now let us know that why do we need to think of the conservation of minerals and how can we conserve the mineral resources so the question that comes to our mind is why is there a need to conserve the minerals why do you need to conserve the minerals the minerals are available in limited amount so they are not available in abundance they are limited the minerals are non-renewable these minerals 
are non-renewable resources. That means with more use of these minerals, a time will come that it will get depleted. And as it will get depleted, it will take millions of years to form back again. So we can say it will take millions of years for the formation and concentration of minerals. So minerals are non-renewable resources. That means the resources which are not available in abundance. They are available in limited amount. And if we utilize the minerals at a reckless amount, a time will come when it will deplete, it will get exhausted. And once it will get exhausted, it will take millions of years to form back. For the formation and concentration, it will take thousands and millions of years. It is very important to note that the rate of consumption of minerals is much faster than the rate of its formation. That means the rate at which the minerals are formed are much slower than the rate at which the minerals are consumed. So we can say there is an imbalance which is formed between the rate of consumption and the rate of its formation. As we know that there is a huge demand of minerals, uh, the demand of the population is not limited, but the minerals are limited and also it takes quite a long time to form back again, to get replenished. So it is important to understand the need for the conservation because the minerals are utilized in such a rate that at that rate the minerals are not formed so we can say there is an increasing gap between the rate at which the minerals are formed and the rate at which minerals are consumed in such a way if we are going to consume the minerals a time will come when we will lack mineral resources our future generation will not get the opportunity to use the mineral resources so it is important to think about the conservation of minerals it is important to think about sustainable use of the minerals so that it can fulfill the demands of the present generation and also can be available for the future generation so now let us know what are the ways by which we can conserve the mineral resources now let us know how to conserve the mineral resources. Conservation of mineral. The mineral resources can be conserved by following the three R's. Now what do you mean by the three R's? It means to reduce, recycle and reuse. We can reduce the use of minerals like in the process of mining we will see that a lot of minerals are wasted. So we can reduce the wastage of minerals through the process of mining. Next one is to recycle the metals. We can recycle the metals like we can recycle the steel and iron and this can be utilized again. This can be put into use. That means the metal which has been used once can be again recycled and can be molded to give a new form. That is referred as recycling or recycle of metals. We can reuse the metal. For example, if you have any utensil which is not used anymore, you can reuse that utensil. You can use it for planting of trees or else you can use it for many other purposes. So that is how we can reuse the minerals. Like aluminium can or aluminium vessel 
or utensil which is no more into use we can use it to plant a tree or to store water so that means we are utilizing the resources again the mineral resources again by following this three r's that is by reducing recycling and reuse we can conserve the minerals we can also conserve the minerals by using the minerals in a proper plant sustainable manner that means if you are going to plan how can we use the mineral in a sustainable manner so that the resources should be available for the future generation and can also meet the needs and demands of the present generation we can properly utilize the resources we can conserve the resources by developing technology which will help to use the low grade ore in a profitable way we can also conserve the resources by searching alternative renewable sources so not only by following the three r's that is reduce recycle and reuse the mineral resources we can use the mineral resources in a proper planned sustainable manner which will help in the conservation of minerals we can also develop technology which will lead to the usage of the low grade ore in a profitable way we can also search for alternative renewable sources which will lead to the conservation of minerals so in this video what we have learned in this video we have learned what are the uses of minerals why is there a need to conserve the minerals and how can we conserve the minerals i hope you all understood what has been taught in this video now what you will do you will read your book and you can take the help of the pdf that has been provided in the description box it will help in your studies because more detailed information has been provided in the pdf if you have any problem or any suggestion you can always comment in the comment box given below if you like my video and if you feel it is worth watching do share it with your friends and don't forget to hit the like button if you have not subscribed my channel yet do subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon to get the further notifications on my upcoming videos stay tuned i will be back soon with a new video on a new topic till then Take care and stay safe. Thank you.